Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to my channel today. I have an exciting video and it's actually the first time I've ever filmed one of these videos and it is a favorites video. So today I'm doing my July favorites and I'm going to cover about seven different categories. I've got beauty, um, wellness, fashion, entertainment, planners, home goods, and food. So let's just dive right into it. If you guys like this video and want to see more, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's get started um, with my beauty favorite for the month of July is this um, e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. And I actually picked this up at Walmart um, a few months ago. Actually, I just wanted to try something. I have naturally dark circles under my eyes. Um, I think it's the hereditary, genetic, whatever you want to call it. Um, my mom also has them. Um, and I just started to notice that I was getting a few fine lines and wrinkles, but I wanted to try something out to see if I could kind of combat that and make it a little less noticeable. Um, so I've been using this um, consistently for a few months now and I really like it. It's very light and airy when you put it on and I know the skin under your eyes is very delicate, so it applies very well. And I can't say that I've noticed a ton of um, progress on the dark circles, but I do feel like my skin just looks maybe a little brighter and the fine lines and wrinkles are definitely fading. So I would recommend this. It is the um, Eyes, Lips, Face. A lot of people call it e.l.f. Um, and I got it at Walmart. You can probably get it at Target and wherever else. So um, wellness. For the category of wellness, I usually incorporate um, fitness, workouts, or just anything I'm doing for my overall body health, body, mind, and spirit. Um, so my wellness uh, favorite is the LG Weight Training Plan 3.0. Anyways, there it is. The LG, um, that's Lauren Gleisberg. She is a fitness blogger and she's pretty huge in the world of fitness. Um, and she came out with this plan, I think at the very end of June or very beginning of July. And it's an eight week program and I got the home version because I don't go to a gym, I just work out at home. Um, so the only thing you need are weights, a resistance band, maybe a bench or a chair. Um, but I really like it. I've started to see a lot more definition in my muscles. Um, I have noticed that it's maybe a little bit less cardio intensive than I'm used to with the Tone It Up workouts, but I've been trying to supplement that with walks and HIT videos. LG's plans are so good. They're laid out, they're very easy to understand, and they're super cheap. Um, I think that one's definitely less than $20, maybe less than $15, I'm not sure, but it's very affordable. So go check her out if you haven't. I would highly recommend, love her plans. Um, fashion. So this month I have an accessory favorite. It's not really anything clothing related, but it is this wristlet. This is by the brand Sack Roots, which is, um, I'm pretty sure it's owned by Sack, like S-A-K, like the, the kind of luxury bag brand. Um, and this is called their Large a uh, large smartphone crossbody. Um, as you can see, I have the um, Samsung Galaxy S9 um, and it fits in this outside pocket perfectly. And you could probably go slightly bigger. I have some extra room. Um, so that's one reason why I love it. I've been carrying this all summer. Um, normally I have this wrist strap on it and I'll just stick this in my purse um, and carry it around and it has um, Tons of places for money, cards, a zipper for your change and everything. Um, but it also comes with a shoulder strap. So you can just hook this on. It has two hooks here at the top and wear it as a crossbody bag. And um, I do that whenever I'm shopping and I don't want it hanging off my wrist all the time or if I'm in a large crowd and just because it feels more secure that way. But this is a definite must have for summer for me. And I will be taking this on my upcoming trip as well. Okay, the next category is entertainment. Now for entertainment, I always have four different entertainment favorites. I have TV show, movie, sound, which can include like music or podcasts, and a book favorite. So, TV shows first. My TV show favorites for this month, for July, is Outlander Season 2. So I've recently been reading Dragonfly and Amber, which is the second book in the Outlander series by Diana Gabaldon, Gabaldon, however you want to say it. 
Um, and since I've been reading through that, you know, it usually takes me about a whole year to read through those books because they're massive. I just read them in sections. But I've been watching season two of the show and it's very good. I've already started to notice a few differences here and there, but overall the show's very good. I love seeing France like back in that time with the costumes and Versailles and it's also kind of funny. Um, and I can't wait to finish Dragonfly and Amber and get on to Voyager and watch season three movie i don't have um, anything to show for this movie because it's only on netflix it's a netflix original movie called how it ends um it's a disaster movie and it has forrest whitaker in it and theo james who played four in divergent and cat graham who was bonnie in the vampire diaries if you watch any of those you might be familiar with them um it was good it's a lot of action and a lot of suspense and drama which is really good it's about basically a big world ending event you know kind of apocalyptic and um theo james and forrest whitaker team up to drive across the country to rescue um cat graham who is playing forrest whitaker's daughter and theo james's uh girlfriend so um it's entertaining the ending was weird and it wasn't my favorite it wasn't a bad ending but it's very open-ended and you're kind of just guessing on like what happens to these characters Basically, they're driving off not into the sunset. They're driving away from something, but you don't know what happens to them after that. So I would recommend it, but be sure that you're prepared for kind of a weird ending on that one because endings really bother me if they're bad. But that one wasn't bad. It was just weird. Okay, um, for sound, um, I've recently been going back to my middle school and high school days and listening to a lot of pop punk music. Um, I'm talking Fall Out Boy, My Chemical Romance, Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, We The Kings, like all of my favorite bands that I still love but that were so popular back in the day. Um, so um, here's one of the playlists that I've been listening to. You can um, click the link in the description box to go to my blog post and see the other ones I've been listening to. Um, but this one's called Pop Punk Powerhouses. Um, it's on Spotify and it's just so good. It has Fall Out Boy, The Offspring, My Chemical Romance, Paramore, Panic at the Disco, Green Day, Jimmy Eat World, you just all the good pop punk classics and I am loving it. I think it's because Panic at the Disco has a brand new song out and I know I've heard some new Blink-182 stuff so I'm just like dying to listen to all this music that I used to love and I still love it today. Um, and then my book favorite. So if you watched my last video which was my July wrap up and August TBR, you might already know this. But my book favorite for the month of July is Dark Lover by J.R. Ward. Um, this is on my Kindle. That's why it's in black and white. I have a Kindle paperwhite. Um, I don't know how I never read the series before. My coworker has been trying to get me to read it forever. And then I saw Jessica on Peace Love Books talk about it. Um, so I decided to read it and it is so good. It's like, it reminds me like I'm getting in the mindset of like the Underworld movies, you know, like early 2000s vampire romance, but like it is nowhere near Twilight. Like these are like legit vampires. And this series is the first book in the series called the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. And it's about all of these brothers and they're like warriors in the vampire race. And there are like different levels of vampires. And it is just crazy, but I wanted to keep reading and keep reading and keep reading. The story was so good and it's just so, I don't know, it's just so good. So if you haven't read it and you've been wanting a vampire story or just a good just action-packed kind of romance story, I would definitely recommend the Black Dagger Brotherhood series and actually the next book in the series, which is called Lover Eternal, is on my August TBR and I will probably be reading that on my vacation here in a couple of weeks. So I hope um, I get to that soon. All right, so that's it for entertainment. Um, and the next category we have is planner favorites. Um, so I'm a planner girl. I definitely use my planner all the time. I actually have it here with my notes for this video. I use um, the Happy Planner 
Um, I've been using it for about two years now. Um, well, you know, different ones, but I've been using Happy Planner products for about two years, and I love how they're just very customizable. If you guys want to see a video on my planning routine or a flip through of my planner, um, let me know in the comments below because I can definitely do that for you. Um, but my planner favorite for July are these pins, and I'll hold one up so you can see it. But these are the Papermate Flare pins, and they are a felt tip pen kind of like a marker and I have them in all different colors but they actually don't bleed through the pages in your planner which is like so epic to me because you know the weeks are back to back and I do a lot of decorating and stickers and writing in my planners with those pens so it's really important to me that they don't bleed over to the next page and these don't um, they're very affordable you can get them at Walmart Target anywhere that has school supplies because they're just by Papermate Okay guys, so a little change of scenery here. I had to bring you upstairs to show you my home goods favorite of the month of July. Um, so let me turn you around here and we will see it. It is this adorable shower curtain that I got from Target. Um, it's just the Room Essentials brand and this one is white and it has all these pretty cactus illustrations at the bottom. And I, I just got it like two weeks ago recently, but um, I love it and it matches my master bedroom decor because we have cactus themed stuff in our master bedroom and this is our master bathroom. Anyways, this is my home goods favorite for the month of July. And the last category I have is food. Um, this might seem a little weird, but I didn't have a particular dish that was my favorite this month, but rather my favorite food is peanut butter. You guys, I cannot get enough peanut butter lately. I don't know what it is. This is the kind I normally get. It's the Peter Pan creamy peanut butter. I'm definitely a creamy peanut butter person. I'm not a crunchy peanut butter person. But um, lately I've been just, I can't get enough peanut butter and I love it. Um, one of my favorite snacks and ways to eat peanut butter is actually just to um, slice up an apple and dip it in peanut butter. I take this to work with me a lot and I use these little um gif to go natural peanut butter packets and then i also have um caramel rice cakes and i like to spread peanut butter on top of those and do a little handful of mini chocolate chips for like a sweet treat that's like not crazy unhealthy for you so those have been two of my favorite ways to eat peanut butter lately so those are my favorites for the month of July. Um, I really hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments below what some of your favorites are for the month of July. I hope I get to do these videos for you regularly uh, month to month and I, ha I do have an accompanying blog post over on kindlykatie.com. That's K-A-T-E-Y. Um, anyways, so I think that's it for now guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.